It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. Today, I want to talk about the sneak peek clip that OWN dropped today. I watched this clip on the Love & Marriage Huntsville Instagram page, and I just so happened to be scrolling through the comments, and I don't know, y'all just, y'all kind of weird to me. Y'all just very, very weird, but I do understand the video was a few seconds seconds long and we didn't really get too much context so I want to talk about it I want to break it down and y'all know we got to have the proof to back up everything that we be seeing because walkie talkie is a lying ass hoe and it just seems like women are just so easily ready to just be dismissive of everything that has been going on behind the scenes or maybe they just don't even know so that's why we make these YouTube videos let's get into it don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you you are updated each and every time that I upload. First, I want to start by saying y'all need to hang in there today because I'm going to be doing the part two of walkie talkie lying ass hope, but we're going to literally start from the beginning before we even got to the revenge plot. How did we even get to the revenge plot, right? We got to break all of that down in from the Queen Sheba video. And like I said, if you haven't seen that video, you literally been living under a rock. So go ahead over to Queen Sheba's um, YouTube channel, check out that um, video, and then check out all of my other videos debunking everything that he has said in that interview. But like I said, my next video, we're going to literally start from the beginning. I had to go back down my YouTube channel and bring up some old clips because we have a lot of new people here. So maybe y'all don't know and maybe y'all forgot. So we're just going to re remind y'all because that's what we do over here. Before we get into that, Mel is not pressed over walkie talkie, things of that nature. Don't nobody want him nobody is in nobody cares right but if he's going to continue to bash her throw her name around and use her name for money clickbait clout I think she should do the same thing and a lot of y'all really be sleeping on me and I think that's literally hilarious because she's a damn genius and I think she's very strategic with the way she choose to film scenes and how she choose to maneuver and behave around these people regardless of what y'all say about the scenes that she is deciding to film they are her real life no matter what every other scene that we've gotten from the Scots or every scene that we've gotten from the Scots have been made up bullshit that we have already debunked here over on YouTube before the show even started so we are literally seeing Mel show us what had been going on on um during the time that we were talking about these things on YouTube so we already have the proof to everything Mel is talking about because we talking about the stuff that she talking about we was talking about it on YouTube so I just think it's funny how people just love to make it seem like oh, Mel is talking about walkie-talkie. This is her real life. Like, these are the things that were really going on. They were really in and out of the courts, like, back to back. It was crazy. So I'm sure she's not filming, like, a real conversation about their court strategy in this episode, but she obviously had to have multiple conversations with her lawyer, which would make sense as to why she would need to film this scene. And what's to be pressed over walkie-talkie, things of that nature for? Like, literally, he's community peen. Everybody has had him. Nobody wants that. And it looks like male new man is just treating her right. He stay gifting her, period. And we know male treats herself, male do for herself, but... Her man is very much involved, and I don't care what y'all say, I believe this is him gifting her. All right, let's read some of these comments before I show y'all the clip, and then after I show y'all the clip, we're going to read some more comments. This is no shade to any of the people that comment. I am just using their comments to actually explain what's going on because, I don't know, they acting like we ain't watching the same damn show. So please don't take it as an attack or personally, I don't know y'all, don't care. I'm I'm just talking about the comment that was made on the public platform. So one person said, tired of this same drama between both of them. Melody is a drama queen and put Martel in situations that will arise confusion because of the kids. I said what I said. Okay, well what okay. you said was some bull 
Somebody said, I support Melody, but Marty custody suit wasn't entirely bogus. Right of first refusal. The 20 babysitters request for child support, attorney fees, bank account, credit card information, etc. That stuff he could have left out. I suppose this scene was necessary for those who were wondering why the name change hasn't happened. I agree. The only thing I don't agree with is the fact that she said it wasn't entirely bogus. That shit was bogus as hell. Okay. Especially because we know Belinda watch his kids now. Come on y'all. Oh, like, like let's get for real. Okay. Her mama and her brother can't watch the kids for a few hours, but Belinda can. Someone else said y'all could have kept, or it say y'all couldn't, but I'm assuming she meant y'all could have kept this fake scene, LOL. I would have rather her been explaining this to someone else because neither her nor this lawyer is a good actor. And I'm sure if she was explaining it to someone else, y'all would be saying the same thing because when she was talking to Nell about it, y'all was complaining about that as well, even though that was her real life. Oh my gosh, y'all hoes is just... So someone else said, Melody loved a fake scene, doesn't she? None of her scenes are real. They're all curated by her to either make her look like a fake boss or to make her to make Martell look as bad as possible. I really used to like her, but the facade is impossible to ignore at this point. So again, fuck that fake ass scene that Letitia had with her cousin as far as hiring her. Cause mind you, we ain't known, we ain't seen the cousin since. Forget every scene walkie talkie done did with Mel name in his mouth because every time walkie talkie got on the camera, he mentioned Mel's name. And forget all of these people calling her a dark soul and then sitting on her platform getting by without showcasing their real life. Okay. Now, that this is just my opinion. You know, I just, I don't, I don't understand it from their standpoint. But if y'all understand it, y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know. Because it's not that I would love to understand. I guess I'm just interested to know what what show are we watching seriously so i'm gonna leave this here we might have to go live to unpack all of this let's get into the clip to my maiden name you know rogers is yep. you know the name that i did everything up till 22 and, and i got my that with success a d, right? with a d mm -hmm. right. so where are we with that and how long does it take and all that good and, stuff. and i'm glad you mentioned you know it is kind of a tough decision there's not really anybody that can object to okay. you getting your name change. Okay. One of the things I think that is hold, that's going to hold you back is that is there is a requirement that you cannot be a party in any active court case in any jurisdiction in the United States or the world. So we're involved in a in a court case with Martel. So. Um, Child, so you mean to tell me Martel tried to control me when I was having his last name, and he's still trying to control me when I'm trying to change the last name? Now this right, <laughs> this is not what this is not it. I'm not happy about that. I'm sure you're not. So in my opinion, Melody and Walkie Talkie court case is now over with. So I'm almost positive we'll be seeing her with the name change sometime soon. In my opinion, Walkie Talkie entire reason for taking her to court was completely bogus and it was unnecessary. I think that she, maybe we don't know, you don't know, or we don't know the conversations or the text messages that walkie talkie sends her or was sending her prior to them going to court, which is why she could be under the impression that he was using this as a means to um, not allow her to change her name. Mind you, when they were just on the reunion, he was screaming that her last name was Holt. So can we please not act like, like, I, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes women are just so easy or just so quick and ready to be dismissive of another woman's feelings because they want to be in that woman's position. I don't care what nobody say. Majority of the women that can easily switch their stance on the mistreatment of male and the treatment of walkie talkie nine times out of 10, they've never even had the level of what y'all consider love, or they never even had the type of relationship that Mill and walkie talkie had. So they are desiring what it looked like. It looked like happiness. Like they've never actually been in, in a situation or relationship with the narcissist, or at least one that I guess gave off the impression in which they cared about them. Like I said, that obsessive love. Some people think that that's love when in reality it's it's not. So in my opinion, women kind of live vicariously through male and they don't like when they, when she makes decisions 
that are more beneficial to her because they wouldn't make those same decisions. I don't know. That's a ramble, but y'all get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you are up to date each and every time that I upload. Y'all let me know if you want to get on live and you want to discuss this a little bit more in depth today because we can't do that. Each other's good, got each other's back, and all that type of stuff. So that's right, that's right. That's what kept us together, having each other's back. And mm. the thing is, Melody always had my back from, um, I guess, the beginning. <laughs> I, I dropped out of school in what, oh four. Mm -hmm. I got back in in oh six, and Melody, she's one of the reasons that um, she helped fund my, what my first, my first semester, first two semesters of um, college when I went back to school. Mm -hmm. She loaned me what about fifteen hundred dollars. Yep, yeah. Woo! Big time. <laughs> hey, that was something right there so back yeah. in the day. She so did. yeah, I tell you, we, ooh, both of us, she ain't had no money for real, loaning mm -hmm. me fifteen hundred dollars. Right, I was just working two, three jobs at the time, so I was able to. Yeah. Right, right, yep. right. So yeah, but I tell you, now that had multiplied. Over the years, continue to multiply. That's right. That's yeah. right. Like you said, encouraging each other, having each other's back, that's so important in any relationship. Mm -hmm. And seeing each other through life's changes, life's growth, life's disappointments, life's heartaches. We've experienced so much together. Birthdays, people's anniversaries, our anniversaries. We've experienced death. We've experienced birth. You know, experiencing all of those things together. That's right. That's what makes your bond strong, going through life together. That's right. Yeah. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not.